All right, it is Thursday, March 28th, 2019 at 9.02 p.m. All right, let's take a look at some headlines. Keanu Reeves helps fellow flight passengers after emergency landing in California, social media shows. I've only heard great things about Keanu Reeves. I've never ever heard anything bad or anything about that. He's had a lot of tragic stuff happen in his life, but he's still doing good and helping people out there. Let's take a look at the article. Keanu doesn't have to be in a movie to be a hero. The 54-year-old actor was on a United flight from San Francisco to Los Angeles on Saturday when the plane had to make an emergency landing in Bakersfield, California, according to USA Today. Reeves hardly missed a beat, allegedly taking the lead in figuring out the best way to complete the last 100 miles from Bakersfield, Bakersfield to Los Angeles. The Matrix star Everyday Heroics were captured on an Instagram story of Brea Ria, a freelance cartoonist who illustrates New York Times' Modern Love column and recorded uh, by other social media uh, users who posted the video on Twitter. Rhea's story showed a collection of images and videos of the trip, beginning with Reeves boarding the flight in San Francisco, followed by an announcement of the diversion to Bakersfield. After announcements that would complete the trip on a bus, Reeves could be seen discussing the logistics of the trip and waiting for the luggage with other passengers at a Bakersfield airport. The next clip showed the John Wick actor in a van with other passengers reading facts about Burbank and playing country music from his phone. Rhea's Instagram story ended with Reeves walking into Carl's Jr. caption with, It's been a long day for all of us. Reeves also took pictures with several of his fellow passengers, which they posted on Twitter. This was my Saturday, my Saturday, guys. The plane almost crashed, and Keanu Reeves was on it. One Twitter user posted, and in the second tweet, she included a picture, her picture with Reeves. Another person wrote, "That time when you, your flight from GDC almost crashes, and you have an emergency, you have to emergency land in a remote airport, but at least Keanu Reeves is having as bad a day as you are." The flight had to be diverted to Bakersfield because of a mechanical indication. A SkyWest representative told USA Today the, fi- the flight reportedly landed safely without any incident. SkyWest operated United Express uh, flight with that Rhea and Reeves boarded Saturday. So pretty much anything that I've heard for- about Keanu Reeves has always been good. Alright, next story. World's largest salt cave discovered in Israel. Israel researchers say they have discovered the world's longest salt cave. The the 6.2 miles uh, of passages and chambers inside Moham Cave overlook the Dead Sea were mapped over two years. The desert was near where, according to the Bible, Lot's wife was turned into a pillar of salt. Rain is expected to lengthen uh, Moham further over time, the researchers said. This happens when rainwater flows and cracks through the surface, dissolving salt and creating semi-horizontal channels along the way that flows down towards the Dead Sea. So apparently this is a gigantic cave. Part of the Malham Cave, which runs through Mount Sodom, Israel's biggest mountain, had already been mapped during the 1980s. Two years ago, Yogag Neveg from the Israel Cave Explorers Club decided to complete the survey and set up a team of researchers and caving experts. During one dinner break in the cave, Boaz Lanford from the Harvard University in Jerusalem said that felt the explorers felt their pasta lacked some seasoning. So they just broke some salt off one of the rocks and used that. That's pretty creative. So, one of the largest caves was discovered in Israel. Alright, next. Viking Sky. Engine failure blamed on low oil levels. A cruise ship caught in a storm off the Norwegian coast experienced engine problems due to low oil levels, according to the Norwegian authorities. I had made a video earlier about this um, boat. Uh, and apparently it is due to oil levels being low um, that caused the um, ship to be in distress. The vessel later restarted th- restarted three of four of its engine and docked in mold. Mr. Alavza told reporters that the amount of lubricating oil was within set limits, however relatively low as it reached Hustavakia a shallow stretch of coastline known for shipwrecks. So next time, guys, make sure you have enough oil. 
All right, next, beef products recalled over potential E. coli contamination. Approximately 4,838 pounds of beef products are being recalled because of possible E. coli contamination, the U.S. Department of Agriculture, USDA, Food Safety and Inspection Service said on Tuesday. The beef and chuck tender products from the Aurora Packing Company in North Aurora have, were packed on February 27th and shipped for institutional use in Illinois, Iowa, and Wisconsin, according to the recall notice. The products have been contaminated by E. coli and possibly deadly bacterium. Also, avocados recalled in six states over listeria concerns. Exposure of E. coli can result in dehydration, bloody diarrhea, and abdominal cramps for two to eight days. The FSIS warned in some cases the bacterium can also cause, cause uh, HUS, a kind of kidney failure. All right. Also, Tyson recalls 69,000 pounds of frozen chicken strips over possible metal contamination. So you guys keep an eye out for these recalls. Alright, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more videos. And see you guys next time. God bless.